Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. It is Wednesday, November 9th. Um, what I have for you today is um, a thrift haul video. Um, so you guys, some of you guys challenged me to style and rock the birdhouse bag. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I did just that today. Um, anyway, let me stop for a second before I get like carried away. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, ThreadUp, and The Real Real. By day, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist. So, um, typically I do unboxing videos. The uh, um, couple of videos back, I unboxed the world's ugliest purse, what I thought was the world's ugliest purse. Um, and anyway, then I got challenged, since I call myself, aka The Bag Lady, to style and um rock the bag so um what i did i got i was like shit what am i gonna do um i mean i got clothes that's not that's not the problem but i happen to remember my girl natalie is she's got some mad photography skills so i called out or well i messaged natalie and i'm like hey nat would you um I, I've been challenged to do a photo shoot. Can you help me out? Boom. She charged up her camera battery, and we were out today doing this photo shoot, you guys. So, here is the bag in case anybody needs their memory refreshed. And this is how it opens, and it's got a velvet interior. And you know what's funny, you guys? I actually put my glasses inside the bag when we were doing the photo shoot. Um, but... In case you don't follow me on Instagram, I did pull up the photos on my iPad because, you know, you guys know I'm technically challenged and I cannot, um, you can see my ring light in there. I cannot, for the life of me, I cannot figure out how to edit it, which I will because I, I need to, I got to get with the times, but there's... Um, that's the photo we ended up using. Let's see. That was uh, oh, one of the good ones. Okay, what's happening here? Oh, I got my finger on it. Now I'm showing you all my pictures. Okay. So there's that one. That's the one I posted to Instagram because Natalie was like, that's a supermodel pose. You got to use that one. And my marketing team as well chimed in. Oh, why am I showing you? Okay. What's happening here? All right. So here we go. Um, that, And I will most likely post the rest of these. Um at some point or another, but you get the gist. Natalie and I had fun doing the photo shoot. Um, she recognized right away that I hate to have my picture taken. Um, but anyway, I did it. We had a great time. And then it just so happened that the mural that she picked, um, cause actually Natalie found the spot. Um, I pulled together the outfit, and, um, except for the scarf. Natalie brought the scarf, and then she gifted it to me after the shoot. So, um, But she found the spot, and it just so happened that it was um, in the parking lot of the Salvation Army. So we decided to you know, spend some time thrifting together. And let me tell you, um, I found a little hidey hole, you guys. Now, um, it was not the Salvation Army. They're crazy. They are ridiculous, totally ridiculous on their pricing. They wanted, I don't even know how much money for, well, they had free birds. They did have a pair of free, free bird boots, but they wanted like, I don't know, $75 for them. It was crazy. It was crazy. You know, I, I mean, I think, I know Freebirds go for a lot, but these boots were well-worn. And I don't mean like fashionable, distressed, well-worn. These fuckers were well fucking loved. So I wasn't fooling with them. But anyway, so from there, we went to Habitat for Humanity, which there, you know, it's house um, stuff. Aww. And Frank... Mama's doing a video. I'm not holding you. 
Um, okay. So after Habitat for Humanity, let's see, after Salvation Army went to Habitat and that, you know, of course, housewares and stuff, but I, you know, I could have went crazy in that store too. They had a lot of good like stuff that you could, if you had projects and whatnot. Um, after that, we went to the pallet store, the dollar pallet store. Um, and you know what? You guys wouldn't believe it. I had, I'd never in a million years would have thought that I was going to get clothes there, um, at this particular pallet store. Um, it's not, they do more like stuff like AirPods and video games and, um, I don't know, power tools and yada yada that kind of stuff so anyway um when we went i oh gosh i you guys i got a bag load of stuff for a dollar everything in there was a dollar and it's like i got these these billabong these are billabong swim trunks brand new with the tags in a size 32 for a dollar so Anyway, I snatched them up because if I don't sell them in my Poshmark closet, I'm seriously thinking about um, doing whatnot. And actually, that's really kind of why I got most of this stuff. I may, those Billabong shorts I might list in my Poshmark closet, but like I got these, they're Cherry Company, size four denim shorts. So I was thinking if I do whatnot, um, you know, I need stuff to open up for a dollar bid and I got a bunch of wild fable leggings which have a $12 retail price it's not a whole lot not worth selling on posh but you know open up for dollar bids on whatnot why not uh this is a double xl wild fable hoodie brand new with the tag and it's cropped has a retail price of $18 um, now the wild fable leggings, I got a bunch of those in different sizes. They're all, I think they're all like in an olive green. What else did I get? I got this new with tag bra in a size 32C. I got a bunch of new in the package bathing suits. I'm trying to think what else is in here. Oh, here's another pair of leggings. These are an extra small. That's a different color. It's like a charcoal gray. But I, I couldn't believe I got all this stuff, you guys, at the pallet store for a dollar. Like, I, I got a bunch of bathing suits. So, um, anyway, back to whatnot. I either have to delete the app or I got to start selling on there because you guys, it's fucking insanity. The amount of stuff that I have coming from there. Um, I did, I did pick up a bunch of designer bags. Some I'm going to keep some. I'm going to, um, flip. I, once I have them all together, I will do a separate video just on those bags because um, I want to offer those bags to you guys first. So, um, anyway. So, that was my CDS Palace haul. Then we went... Where did... Okay. Maybe I did... Let me see. Let me look at this price tag here. Maybe I did buy... I did buy stuff at the Salvation Army. I grabbed these shoes. These are um, Bach, B-O-C, Born, I don't know, something. Born Concepts, okay? So I picked these up. These are a size seven and a half. I'm actually going to um, try these on myself, and if they fit me, I'm going to keep them because I need something to wear to with that jacket that I got off of Lindsay. So I needed some brown shoes. So um, these, <coughs> these are Franco Sarto and I know that they don't go for a whole lot. Oh no, I did not get those there. I did not. Sorry, I'm at the wrong 
place. Okay, so these are actually born brand new with the tags born. There's the tags. Brand, these are brand spanking new sandals with the tags. Now, do they have some shop wear? Absolutely. Um, and I also noticed there is, it looks like somebody probably might have spilled. I mean, so it, I do need to do like a tidge bit of cleaning up on these shoes. But holy shit, these are so cute. Brand new with tags. I got them for $4. I was not leaving them behind. I paid more for the used shoes, I think. Oh, yes. The used box shoes I paid $7 for. So, and the only reason I paid $7 for them is because I was considering them for myself, but I didn't want to try them on until I lice all them. Um, so anyway, these will be going up for sale in my Poshmark closet. These, okay, so that was why I got at Salvation Army, was just those two pairs of shoes. And those were last minute thing. Natalie found a shoe rack and she's like, hey, we didn't look at these. And boom, boom, I found a couple pairs. So um, then she took me to a consignment shop, which this consignment shop used to be in a really, really bad like spot location wise. And like right when you get off the freeway, it was kind of kitty corner to that. So there was no real good place to turn to get in there. You never knew when they were open. I mean, whatever. I'd been wanting to go there for years, but they finally moved. So um, after we went to the pallet store, Natalie took me to this consignment shop. And oh my gosh, what a little hidey ho. I almost bought a mink coat, you guys. They had a short length um like blonde color mink um had a little drawstring had like pockets i mean it, this bitch fit me perfectly and it was only fifty dollars i couldn't believe it and honestly i would have bought it right on the spot except for the fact that it like to close it it was like a hook and eye closure and i know this is so stupid but it didn't have the hook. And I didn't want to have to fool around with getting a hook put on a fur coat, you know, because it's just not, I mean, it's not an easy, you're not going to find someone that does that kind of work out by where I live. So I put it back. It was beautiful and vintage. And I don't know if I'm still thinking about it tomorrow, I will go back for it. But anyway, I got some other great stuff from there. I got these shoes and I paid up for these shoes. These are Franco Sardo's. They were 15 bucks, um, but it was blue tag day. So I got 35% off. So I think I ended up paying $10 for them. They do have a little bit of wear. <clears throat> um, but again, I got them for myself. They're super cute. And, you know, for what I paid for them. If, you know, if I scuff them up, I'm not going to be pissed off about it. So, um, then, so, I, oh, oh, I got, I got another pair of shoes for myself, you guys. <laughs> um, I have never heard of this brand before, Dunyon. Um, and it's, they're, it's all man-made, you know, so they're nothing, they're nothing expensive, and well, I paid fifteen dollars for these shoes, but I loved them. They had a Gucci vibe without a Gucci price tag, so I snatched them. Brand new, never been worn. They fit me perfectly, so I bought these for myself. Um, I did think when I first grabbed them that they were calf hair. Uh, it wasn't until I got them home and I looked a little closer that I realized that they weren't calf hair. Maybe I wouldn't have paid $15 for them if I had known that they weren't calf hair. So, but they're cute as shit. They're my style. I don't care. And I needed some, I need some different footwear, you guys. Um, for the longest time, I only wore like black footwear, black boots, black, you know, platform shoes, whatever, black, 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 black. So, um, I, that's my way of mixing it up. So 
Now, what I did get to flip, Natalie found these for me. She was, while I was paying, she was flipping through the jeans in her size and she pulled them out and she's like, oh my God, these are so cute. But I don't do boot cut. And I saw the tag and I was like, hold on. Natalie, is that an AG on there? And she's like, yeah, why? I said, pull those jeans. And she's like, well, there's another pair. I said, pull those jeans. How much are they? And, and, and I paid up for them. They were $10 a pair. But you know what? I would rather pay $10 a pair all day long for, um, what are they? Adriana Goldschmied. Is that how you say it? Adriano Goldschmied. All day long, I will pay up for those rather than, than paying up for... Um, in oh, these jeans, you guys, they have stretch. These are, a, they, and you know what? I get it. People say skinnier on the way out, but I, I'm still selling them. These are the legging skinny, super skinny ankle jeans. So these are like a cropped. Um, and they are, believe it or not, made out of 59% cotton, 31% modal, 8% polyester and 2% polyurethane. And I believe these are machine washable. Yes, machine wash cold inside out. They look like leather, but they're not. So how hot are these? If these were my size, I'd be keeping them. So there's those. Here is the other pair of Adriana Goldschmied. These are also, oh, did I tell you the size on the other ones? I don't think I told you the size. Oh gosh. Okay, so these are 28 regular and the ones that look like the leather. And then these look like a coated canvas almost. And I, I swear to God, these really and truly seem like they are like a new without tag situation, really. I, I mean, but these are the Absolute Legging Extreme Skinny in black Adriana Goldschmied. I picked them up for 10 bucks. You know, I didn't think to check the zippers. Damn it, I gotta remember to do that. Um, zipper works. So I am super, super excited to list these jeans. Um, you'll probably, you know what? The video is gonna go up before the jeans. I can tell you that right now. Um, I still have not started working on the stuff that I need to get to my bookkeeper tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, but the last piece that I grabbed from this little Heidi Ho, um, I almost passed on it. <clears throat> I saw a leather jacket on a mannequin and I fell in love with it and I, I asked what size it was and she pulled the mannequin down and it was a small. And I noticed that it was a Tory Burch. And I mean, I didn't care anyway, because I, I was looking at it for myself. And I'm like, you know what? Let me try that bitch on. So I put it on and it fit. The only thing is, is it does not meet in the front. And you know, it really doesn't look that bad on. But anyway, I was going to pass on this piece. And, and I'm getting to the piece, you guys. Um, in fact, I left the store without the piece. And... It was funny, Natalie started talking to the lady when I was checking out and telling her that I'm a YouTuber and um, we, you know, yada, yada. And so the, the lady asked me my YouTube channel name and I told her, you know, of course, I'm going to tell her, you know, I, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. And um, Jesus Christ, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, um, so I, we left the store without the Tory Burch jacket. And I was sitting, we went to B-dubs for some lunch and I was sitting there and I thought, let me just look and see what that Tory is going for. And oh my gosh, when I saw the comps on this jacket, I ran back and I bought it. Um, I told Natalie, I said, as soon as we order, I'm running back down to the consignment shop and I'm going to grab that jacket before somebody else does. I said, cause that thing is a steal. So let me show you this beautiful, beautiful, and I swear to God, it is not going to do it justice on the camera. This 
leather is like butter. And then it's got this like gunmetal kind of <clears throat> detailing around the pockets, around the front, around the neck, around the back. I mean, this friggin' jacket is hot and it zips. You know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to put this on for you guys. I, I just want you to see what an amazing, amazing piece this is. All right. It is, it is tight on me. I mean, it's tight in the arms. And, you know, I mean, it's, it, I, I am nowhere near a small in a Tory Burch. I mean, it, it, you know, if I wanted to wear it and be busting out of it, but I just wanted to show you guys, like, I, I just, it just doesn't look that good on me either. Um, but this, oh my gosh, this jacket. I, I can't wait to photograph her and list her, honestly. Um, she, super hot, super hot. Oh my gosh, and she zips. Hold on, let me zip her up for you guys. She does zip. She zips all the way up. Size small. Black leather. Tory Burch with gunmetal chain details sewn in. Oh my gosh, you guys. Adriana Gold or Adriano Goldschmied and Tory Burch. Like this, this jacket retails for like seven ninety five. dollars um, So yeah, I, when I saw that, <laughs> I hustled my ass back over there and it was, it was funny because when I went, when I went back into her store, she said, <clears throat> I said, I'm back for the Tory Burch. And she said, you know, she, says, I, she goes, I just have to tell you, I'm already watching your videos. And she said, you're hilarious. Um, but anyway, she's like, I was going to tell you, it didn't really look that, you know, that bad on you. And I laughed and I said, you know, I, I'm buying it to flip. I said, you know, I looked it up. There's excellent comps on it. So anyway, um, but it was nice. I, I was really, really happy that she was watching my my YouTube channel. I mean, it still shocks me that you guys, um, that you guys watch me. Oh my God. I've been going on for 23 minutes. All right. I do have to get this last story out, you guys. So I bought something on Poshmark. Um, I bought a pair of Supreme rubber gloves that were supposed to be in the package. The person was practically giving them away. So I was like, yeah, I'll get that for Zach for a stocking stuffer for Christmas. They're new in the package. When I got them, they were not in the package. They were in a real, real bag. And, you know, so I went back to my description and, you know, to, to my purchase. And sure enough, I wasn't wrong. So I put in a case because I'm like, I would never buy something as random as that if it wasn't new in the pack. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of, a, it's a random item. It's, but, you know, later on it might be worth something. Who knows? So anyway, I opened up a case. And before... As I hit the submit button on the case, I noticed on the packaging, there was a little heart. <clears throat> and on that heart, it said, I love your YouTube channel. And I was like, oh my God, if I had known it was a subscriber, I would have just ate it. You know, it was 15 bucks, whatever. I would have ate it. You know what I'm saying? I was so embarrassed, you guys. And he was so nice about it. So... Um, where do I have, oh my gosh, 
I made notes. Okay. So, his closet name is Why So Thrifty by Matt Ryan King. I don't know if he has a YouTube channel or not. I feel like I feel like I may have watched a video by him, but I'm not 100% certain, and I haven't had an opportunity to go look. But anyway, this guy's got good shit in his, his Poshmark closet. He was so stinking nice. I mean, and you know what? <clears throat> Excuse me. As, as a posher, you know, I when I get a case, as you know what? We all, and I, I think a lot of us are like this, we take that personally. And we get upset and da 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 and he was just so good about it and so nice about it so understanding and you know what matt honest to god i would have just kept those damn things if i had seen that you were a subscriber but anyway um check out his closet why i don't know why i don't remember things why so thrifty by Matt Ryan King. Why so thrifty? And you know what? I'm going to look him up for my next video to see if he's got a, if he has a YouTube channel, I'm going to link him a link. Yeah, I will put a link if he has a YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's been a long day and I still have a lot left to do. I've been yapping long enough. I got a lot of shit coming up for you guys. I've been going crazy on whatnot sourcing. I have a giant box in there that contains more Adriana Goldschmied. And Zadig and Voltaire and uh, oh my gosh. Anyway, until next time, y'all. Peace.